Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I've been really excited about today's video because it's got a Christmas theme. Um, I'm going to be doing breastfeeding friendly fashion um, that could be worn on Christmas Day. As you can see, I've got a lot of green and red going on, which I think is acceptable at this time of year, particularly given the hideous 2020 that many of us have had. I think a lot of people seem to be starting uh, the festive period a bit early this year, and I thought I would jump on the bandwagon as well and get started with the festivities. So I've got my glass of Prosecco um, to help me get started with this video. Um, if you are new to my channel, it would be amazing if you could subscribe. If you like the video, then please do give it a thumbs up at the end. And please hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. I will link all of the items mentioned in the description box below. And for sizing, I'm a UK 8 to 10 and I'm roughly 5 foot 8. So yeah, let's get started. So the first item I wanted to show you are these flannel check pyjamas from Gap. I featured these in my Gap breastfeeding haul um, on a previous video and I just love them. I just think they're super comfy, super soft, which is ideal for Christmas morning. It's just what you want when the children are opening their stockings. You've got your cup of tea or glass of Prosecco or Bucks Fizz um, and you just need something nice, snuggly to keep you warm. These are from the maternity range in Gap, so they're nice and roomy. Um, they are functional buttons all the way through, so they're ideal for um, breastfeeding as well. And I think they're quite practical, because at night time I do think it's quite difficult to find something that can keep you warm whilst you're breastfeeding, because you, don't always, you can't always pull the covers up over you once you've got the baby in your feeding. So I think it's nice to have a long sleeve option when you can undo the buttons and keep your sleeves done up so it keeps you snuggly. Um, they're really, really lovely material, nice fit. The only thing I would say is the trousers are a bit on the large side. They are drawstring though, so you can pull them in. Um, but yeah, just be aware. I think if I pulled them in, that would then make them quite short on the leg. Um, so that's my only sort of negative about these, I think I'd say. And um, I've teamed them with my Ugg slippers. And these were £37.77 in Gap. And as I say, they are a size small. So next up, I just wanted to show you something a little bit more glam than the pyjamas. Um, this is a belted shirt dress from Mango. Um, I really, really like this one. I love the fit of it. Um, I like the material. It's not too thick, so you're not going to get too hot. It's quite nice for layering, but it's really, really comfy as well. Um, the sleeves are three-quarter length, which actually I quite like because I often find sleeves are either not quite the right length if they're full length sleeves they can be a little bit short on me and then I tend to roll them up or pull them up anyway. I also think that's practical when you're doing things around the house or looking after the baby you don't necessarily want sleeves that are getting stuck in everything so I quite like the length of the sleeves on this. Um, I like the belt detail with it and um, so it's got a removable belt with um, one gold hoop and one tortoise shell hoop. I really like that design. I'll try and do a close-up shot for you of, of the belt detail. Um, it's button all the way through and they are functional buttons the whole way through. So for breastfeeding it's ideal. Um, it's got a nice collar detail as well. Um, really, really pleased with this one. I've actually ordered it in green as well. So I will show you the green on it in a moment. Um, and I got it during the Black Friday sale at Mango, so it was £25.99, I think the usual price is £49.99, which is perhaps a little bit expensive on the pricier side for a dress like this, um, but I think if you can get it for the £25.99 price tag, then it's really, really good value. So I just wanted to show you the same dress, but in the green colour, which I really like as well. They're both beautiful colours, and both perfect for Christmas. So next up I have a few bodysuits to show you. Um, this one I actually bought last year but I checked online and it is still in stock. It's from Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, it's more on the pricey side, it's £52. But as I say I bought it last year and I have worn it a lot. I just think it goes with so many things. You can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with faux leather trousers, you can wear it, uh, dress it up with a satin skirt like I've done here. Um, it's a really good option. I also like this bodysuit because it's got a thong design, which I think is, is really helpful in a bodysuit, because obviously it means no VPL. I think, as I've said previously on other videos, I do think bodysuits are a really good idea. I think they look really chic, 
they fit really really well rather than have sort of gathered bits hanging over like from a top they just naturally sit so nice and snugly on um, and also I think when you've got children and you're running around after them all day and bending down picking things up and feeding I think they're quite a nice option because you never risk showing your underwear because they're nicely tucked in at the back so I really like them. I also think that ones like this design are a really good option for breastfeeding. Um, you can easily move it away. It's also got a hook and eye detail on it. So you could undo the hook and eye and then you've got fabulous easy access for feeding and yet you still look really stylish on Christmas day. Um, yeah, as I said, I've had, this is my own top that I've had for a long time so I do really like this one. And I was just fortunate to find that it's still in stock. The skirt I teamed it with is from Flounce at ASOS and it was £35 and it's in a UK 8. So the next bodysuit I wanted to show you, I actually featured in my Boohoo breastfeeding haul a few videos ago and I just had to show you it again for Christmas because I just think it's perfect. It's a crushed velvet bodysuit which actually would not normally be my style I'd go for, I don't think I've got anything in crushed velvet. But it feels beautiful on, it feels such nice material. Um, it's as I say, it's a bodysuit, it's another thong bodysuit, so you don't get the VPL. I just really like the shape of it, I like the material, I like the design, I like the access for breastfeeding. It's um, obviously super easy just to pull it down for feeding, and also it's a complete bargain. It's seven pounds from Boohoo, so yeah, I would really, really recommend this one. Okay, so here we have another bodysuit. This one's from ASOS Design. And I have to admit, when I first unwrapped it, I was a bit foxed about how I was gonna get in it. There seemed like a lot of different parts to it and it just confused me a bit. But now, and I did think it was gonna be an epic fail, but now I've got it on, I actually really like this one. And they describe it as having angel sleeves, so they're quite wide sleeves here. And as I say, it's a bodysuit. And it's a thong, another thong style bodysuit, which again I really like because you have no VPL. Um, it's a wrap style as well, but it's it's really stretchy. And the other thing I really like about it is I often find with wrap styles, I'm constantly sort of looking down thinking, oh God, am I exposed? Is it like falling down here? Can you see my bra? Is it this one I feel really secure in? I feel like it's going nowhere. Once you sort of set it where you want it across you it will stay there. It's a really nice, lovely, sort of clingy but stretchy material um, and I just feel quite secure and quite comfortable in it and I feel, I feel quite chic in it as well. I really actually like, really like the design of this one and yet I do think it's stretchy enough for breastfeeding as well. Super easy access and if you wanted to you could probably pop a camisole underneath as well if you wanted to then do the one up one down technique. Um, at the back holding you in it's got um, a tie up detail there which means that it stays up nice and sort of secure as well. Um, I'm really pleased with this one. So as I said it's from ASOS Design. It's a, I bought it in a UK 8 and I would say it's pretty true to size and it was £22. Okay so following on from the beautiful bodysuit, this has actually reminded me why I don't that like crushed velvet. I feel quite frumpy in this one. It feels a bit shapeless to be honest and um, yeah I feel from here I don't like the style around here, I don't like the style around here, I'm just really not keen on this one. To be fair though it is a maternity dress so it may be that it's, it's more room for bump and it would look much better if you have a bump. I don't feel like it would though to be honest because I still feel like it's shaped oddly up here sort of under the arms I feel quite tight and restricted um, around the boobs it just doesn't fit, fit that nicely so even with a bump I still don't think it would fit amazingly well and it is on the pricier side as well so this was from Jaded Rose at ASOS and it was 58, uh, 48 pounds sorry which I think is quite expensive for this I'm just not not keen at all um, I got this in a UK 8 um, and yeah as I say it's, it's just not the nicest feeling dress <laughs> So here we have another crushed velvet dress, but I know I said I don't really do velvet, so I don't know what I was thinking with all of these, but I just thought they're just so festive. And actually this is rekindling my love for velvet again. I really, really like this dress, I'm really pleased with it. I really like the fit of it. And um, it was a bit of a um, experiment because I'd seen someone else in this dress and I really, really liked the look of it, but they'd sold out in my size. So I sized down and went for a six. 
and I am never a UK 6 in anything so I really didn't think it was going to fit but I just thought let's try and actually I don't think it's too bad it does feel quite tight but it feels fine I think if I'd gone for so I was hoping for an 8 which was sold out I think if I'd gone for a 10 it would have been too big definitely too big I really like it I really like the fit style design and um, again I like the three quarter length sleeves I think they look really nice um, I like the wrap detail I think that will make it really easy for breastfeeding I could also pop a camisole underneath if I wanted to if I felt a bit too exposed um, I think it fits really nice around the waist I like the detail at the front so you can see a bit of leg but I also like that it's slightly longer at the back um, and the back is just very plain um, it also has these puff detail on the shoulder as well so this is Miss Selfridge at ASOS as I say this is a UK 6 ideally I would have gone for an 8 I'd say maybe stick with your size or if anything size down with this one and it was £35 Okay, so this next one was also a little bit of an experiment. I just wanted to try something different from the run-of-the-mill dresses and skirts that I've got. So I thought I'd get this satin button-through crop top. This is by John Jack at ASOS. And it also came with some matching trousers, um, which I thought looked really nice, which would be a really lovely coordinated set for Christmas Day. But they were out of stock. If they're back in stock at the time of posting this video, I'll link it in the description box below. Um, I do think it's quite a good option for breastfeeding because they're functional buttons, you can either button down or it'd be quite easy to lift up as well if you wanted to feed that way. Um, yeah, it feels really comfy and nice, it was quite good value, it was originally £38 and it was reduced to £30. This is a UK size 10 and I'm normally an 8 to 10 so I've gone on the higher size and I would recommend that because it does still feel quite, fairly, fairly tight, I think if I'd sized down it would have been too small. Okay, so next up I have this maternity dress from ASOS in Forest Green. There's quite a few things I do like about this dress. I really like the colour. I think it's a really nice deep green. I also think it's got a really clever design for breastfeeding. So it's got this wrap top that goes around the top and you just simply undo that and then you have access at the side here. So it is, it is really practical, really clever. It would make breastfeeding really, really easy on uh, Christmas Day. And yeah, I like that. The downside to it is it's that material that creases very, very easily. And um, so obviously I haven't ironed this, so it's partly my fault, but I'm not going to be keeping it, so I didn't want to iron it. Um, but yeah, I, that would be the downside for me. I feel like it's the kind of dress that even if it was perfectly pressed, if you then sort of moving around, sitting down on Christmas day, getting hot, I think it would then crease up quite quickly. So that would be my downside with it. But it would be a perfect, a good dress for maternity because there's plenty of room in it and then following on for feeding because of the easy access. This was £25 from ASOS and it's in a size UK 8. So the last item I've got to show you is this wrap jumper dress, um, again from ASOS. And it's not actually in the maternity range, I think it's just in their ASOS design range. I actually, it's not as fitted as I was hoping it was going to be. On the model it looked far more fitted um, and it's not actually a true wrap either I was thinking it might be quite good for breastfeeding so I was thinking it could be quite flexible but actually it's not so you've got a bit of stretch but not a lot really for breastfeeding so it's not ideal so this was a little bit of a fail this is a UK size 8 and it was £28 okay so that's it for my breastfeeding friendly Christmas fashion haul I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have found a few bits that are useful for you I've changed back into this because this is going to be my choice for Christmas day this is my bargain £7 top from boohoo.com I think I'm going to be wearing this and probably in the morning I will just be staying in those cosy pyjamas from Gap um, if you enjoyed the video I'd be really grateful if you can give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which items you did like, which items you didn't like and what you might be wearing on Christmas Day. Um, I think it would be useful to have some other ideas as well. So if, you can, um, if you've got anything else you want to link below in the comments then please do so. And I'd be really grateful if you could subscribe and hopefully I'll see you for my next video. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.